Today we are back in the tour van with new Cobra drivers for 2024. It is the Dark Speed driver family. We have Kevin Kraft here to test. We have TrackMan to track all of the data and we have all the information that we will provide to you. So stay tuned for this edition of the Stringer Report. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined again today by Mr. Kevin Kraft here in the tour van. And this is gonna be a good one. This is, uh, this is why Kevin made the trip from Columbia. Wow. Part to the Twin Cities, yeah. uh, a large part. Yeah. Because yeah. we have new Cobra drivers to test. Um, and you've been playing Cobra drivers in the past, so this is a, especially pertinent information for you. So, yeah, first looks. Uh, the Dark Speed that. drivers, yeah. yeah. Um, very, I think, different look than they've had in the past in terms of the color scheme. They just kind of, I mean, Dark Speed, that it, it kind of tells the story. So what do you first see when you look at these three driver heads? I see darkness. <laughs> I mean, there's... <laughs> I mean, that was intended as funny, but at the same time, it's actually true because there's nothing but black on this head, really. Right. Um, they have a little bit a on little the A little tiny bit of gray in the, yeah. uh, on the triple, or the, the LS version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do um, add some blue and red on the Got a little blue the in the standard, little, little red in the max. So. But only on the sole, where, yes. you know, if you, when you look from, yeah. the, from the address position, all you see is matte black. Yes. Um, They've taken the, the carbon fiber down a notch. Yeah. Right. The Last year, that. you could it was you could really really see the carbon fiber. Um, it's there. You can see it, but it's not prominent the way it was in, in right. the last gen. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, there's obviously a lot of technology in here. It's some of the stuff they've introduced in the past that they maybe refined. Mm -hmm. um, the shaping is very aerodynamic. The leading edges are a little more rounded off. They've kind of been making that transition over the last few years. Um, and then the power shell with AI hot face. That's the new. The new thing for Cobra this year is a kind of AI designed PowerShell face um, where that ball, no matter where it's hit, it's going to be some pretty darn good performance throughout. Obviously, it's going to be better if you hit it in the middle, but if you do miss the center of the face like I do quite frequently, you're still going to get that ball out there and it's going to be in a good position for you. Um, and then the power bridge technology as well, a little bit more forward and lower, so it's going to be more stable, but also that spin is also going to still be pretty low as well. So. Yeah. Um, of the three, you know, we also have, we should mention the three different heads yep. d designed for different purposes. So yes. in my hand, I have the Dark Speed Max driver. So that's going to be for the players might need the most forgiveness, yep. might need more help launching the ball into the air. Also going to be a little bit more draw biased. Yeah. So um, then we've got Dark Speed X and LS here. We've got the X, which is going to be sort of like your traditional high MOI driver, kind of mm -hmm. going to, I imagine, appeal to the most golfers out there. Uh, and then lastly, the Dark Speed LS is going to be the compact tour low spin model of them. Uh, so there's three distinct models here. We're going to do a little bit of testing with all of them. But I mean, first impression on the line, how they set up, how things look here. Yeah, they they look, <clears throat> excuse me, they look great. Um, I like this dark yeah. look. Um, it's menacing. Mm -hmm. And I hope they are menacing to the golf ball. Yeah. Um, we've got three different heads and three different head shapes. So uh, the the uh, LS version, the most compact, deepest face, yep. uh, definitely a, a different little different profile than the the standard version, which is the the X. Mm -hmm. um, it's the X looks like it's pushed down and out a little bit, right. and then a little bit more so still on the mm -hmm. on the max. Yeah, uh, maybe version. in this one so, you can also see a little bit of that weight, maybe in the yes, heel. Yes. Yes. Um, and there is actually a weight in the yes. sole on, on the heel. So big change, a couple of big changes on the on the bottom of these clubs. Yep. So um, for this year, Dark Speed's got interchangeable weights moved forward and back. So we didn't have that last year on Aerojet. Yeah. And then in the LS, we've got three weights. So you actually have the ability to make this a more stable and forgiving driver mm -hmm. by throwing the weight all the way back there. Yeah. Or draw bias or fade bias. So, right. Yeah. Um, it's a yeah. It's kind of a fitter's dream, right? We can do yeah. pretty much all kinds of adjustability this. options, plus the yeah. housel that all of yep. them have, which can allow you to adjust, you know, loft and lie uh, to whatever fits your needs. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the lay of the land for the Cobra Dark Speed drivers. I think yeah. now it's up. It's time to test. So we've got TrackMan. We've got Kevin. Ooh. It's time to swing. Let's do it. All right. Good. Kevin, let's start. We've got the Dark Speed Max. Yep. So we'll start with that one. Um, you know, tell me now that you've got a ball teed up there, tell me what you see 
you put that one down to the dress. So it looks like a pretty forgiving driver. Mm -hmm. um, size wise, it looks a little deeper than some. And so the, the profile on it looks, looks you know, pretty in inviting. Um, can't see any of the, really just can't see any of the carbon fiber standing over it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, from yeah. here it looks very just clean. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of what I've been asking for yeah. from anyone in a long time on the appearance of a driver is just matte, like kind of solid black. Yeah. Um, and they've done it, you know, because I mean, Titleist in the past has had the really clean black crown, but it's been glossy. It's always been glossy. Yep, yep. It's always been the shiny. Yep. Um, and then, you know, TaylorMade's had matte finish, but they got the white stripe leading edge. Yep. Um, Ping's had, you know, they're matte black, but they've always got the turbulators on there. Yep. So there's something about it in every driver. Essentially, I'm thinking back to like, I remember the Ping, is it G30 or G25 had basically the last clean black matte yeah. crown that I can remember unless I'm forgetting one. So. Yep. No, I think that's, I think that's actually pretty, pretty accurate. I mean, even the, even the little crown C yeah. is black. Yeah. So it's very understated. Mm -hmm. So if you want a clean, simple yeah. matte black driver, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Um, okay. How about uh, what, shaft are we working with and then i know so, each head's uh stated loft is a little bit different too so yeah so i've got the uh ust link uh m40x it's a 60 gram stiff flex shaft um haven't played m with this shaft a whole lot in a driver so threw it in to see how that okay. was gonna kind of look and feel and sound um this is a 10.5 head. I've got it cranked down to 9.5. I've got it on the draw setting. Okay. I pretty much set all my drivers on the draw setting anymore. The max weights, I've got the heavier weight in the heel, or sorry, in the in the in the tail, okay. rather than in the heel. Don't want. Uh, Trying to. Yeah, for I don't. For the sake of this, not show the draw bias, and you already had draw the ball. So. Yeah, yeah. So I've got it on draw. This thing should should turn over. Yeah, so. and you have it in the draw setting. Yeah. So. I mean, it is right after lunch, so we'll see what it happens. It is right after but, lunch. Yeah. Um, that's an important caveat. <laughs> it is an important caveat. I hopefully will uh, will move faster as I digest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure the human body is designed to eat some, you know, not, not good food like for lunch, then immediately just swing eat, golf clubs. You know, fast a spot. banana, and then you have a power bar, yeah. and then you have, you know, uh, uh, an Uncrustables or something like that <laughs> throughout the course of a round. You know, that's that makes more sense. The, this, was, this was go, and at least it wasn't gorging. Right? Yeah. We just had a nice light little lunch. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep, shield draw. Well, that didn't go anywhere. I didn't think I hit it that bad. It's straight. That's going left. Draw by his head. It is draw by his head. Good thing the weight's not in the heel. Indeed. Yeah, There's some better. more speed and some that's more better. distance there. A little lower spin. Whew. There's a good one. That's a little better. It's a lot of curvature on the ball. Yeah, there is a lot of turn. I don't. Which I know you don't particularly like. No, I don't like to see it turn. I, I like to see it turn, just not maybe quite that much. Uh, club pass maybe a little deep from the inside right now. Try to make a little adjustment. And uh, that was a little better. So path was sure. Path was maybe a, a bit of a factor in there. Let's hit one more. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's so, uh, talk to me about the the feel. We'll, we're starting with the. Dark Speed Max Driver. Yeah. Um, talk to me about the feel of that one. So feels good. Uh, the heads, I don't think maybe it's quite as harsh feeling coming off the face as the Aerojet was last season. That was probably my only real complaint about it. Uh, performance off the Aerojet was great, but mm -hmm. coming off the LTDX, uh, which had the Infinity Face, getting rid of that Infinity Face, I felt like the, the impact was a little bit on the harsher side. Okay. And this is not as soft feeling as the LTDX was. 
Yeah. But I don't think it's quite as as harsh as the okay. as the Aerojet. So a little bit better uh, in the feel for yeah. for you, for what you prefer anyway. Yeah. It feels stable. Like it it felt good, felt pretty forgiving. Yeah. Probably didn't make the very best swings I've got in my yeah, repertoire. Yeah, I mean, but, you were picking it up you know. at the end here, and, and you know, yeah. I mean, I think, so we got, really, we got a tail of kind of two groups here. We've got these three down here yeah. that were your sort of maybe not best swings, and we got yeah. these four up here. So, um, and these are carry distances. I'll move these to, oops, sorry, I'll move these to total here. Um, so this is where we're, we're sitting there. Yeah. Um, so really, you got, you're losing probably what, like 15 yards, give or take, on some of those maybe misses and yeah. you know we were again warming yeah. up a little bit from from lunch and stuff but not but, not terrible right um, i mean right so if we you know grab these four here and yeah. we look at the numbers these are kind of your your good swings your good best four yeah 2500 spin 261.7 carry 287 total you know the smash factor 148 um you know i mean a lot to like here i think yeah, yeah there's Plenty of curvature on those tee shots, right? And the height over, yes. or right at about 100 feet, we can see here. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll go like this. There was certainly and nothing that wanted, there that was nothing ball. there that wanted to go right. Right, right. right? And if Which it started, is, if it happened to, I mean, it was, it's almost like it was fighting the right a lot. Yeah. Like it was, yeah. you know, if it was. Which is exactly what you want this driver to do. It was either exaggerating <laughs> or a draw, or maybe a ball that would go yeah. right kind of stayed straight. Yeah. You definitely, if you're if you're fighting the right hand side, this is definitely the the driver you want. Right. We did see a little bit more spin. Mm -hmm. um, this is I would expect this driver to be the spinniest of the of the group. Yeah. Um, we need to remember too that to an extent, spin is is forgiveness as well. Yes. Right? Yes. So, um, you know, if we're trying to correct something from happening, uh, don't necessarily want to take you down to, you know, sub two thousand because then you the lose control of it. Just get you know, really wide. Yeah, so. I think that's a maybe a, there's a, I don't want to say a misconception, but there's so much of the messaging from these manufacturers, like yeah. low spin, yeah. low spin gives you more yeah. distance. And that's all you hear. And technically that is true. If you have enough club speed, low spin will give you as much, you know, more potential distance, but yeah. you lose control of that ball. And especially if you're trying to fight a slice, hit a draw, you want to still maintain spin so that ball can be straight. So. Yeah. And we need enough spin to keep the ball in the air too, right? If you're somebody that doesn't launch the ball very high, having low spin, the ball just falls out of the sky and you're right. using, you know, you're using the ground to get all your distance. Well, that's yeah. great if you play some places dry all the time. Yeah. But uh, where I'm at and where we are here, you're gonna have some, you're gonna have some combination conditions. So yeah. we're gonna try to manage in a fitting your your carry and your total. Mm -hmm. You know, get that right, correct height, get correct. the correct landing angle, so that you yeah. get the Those most are the parameters right that there. also need yeah. to be factored in for yes. sure so um okay we're going to the x now yeah the x okay when you put that one down now mm -hmm. you see any major differences or does anything jump out compared to the, the max that you just had yeah it's, it's definitely a different shape mm -hmm. um not as elongated in the back okay. uh looks much more like my aerojet yeah just like somebody spray painted it <laughs> yeah somebody just took <laughs> Black spray so, paint and just yeah, covered which, it up. Which I mean, you and I both really like the the yeah. matte finish. I think that's I think it's really good. So, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks like something I'm I'm pretty used to. So, uh, looks good. Nice. Yeah. All right. Let's see what it has here. Okay. Right out of the gate, a little faster. And and without the the correction. Without the draw. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There we go. That's a good ball there. Not too bad. Really, I'll take that one. Yep. That's my perfect drive, about four more miles an hour club head speed, yeah. and, and that's it. Oh, yeah. He's feeling it now, folks. <laughs> He's feeling it now. You're climbing. There's it's 300. Hey. 300.0. I like Mission that. accomplished. We can be done for the 271 day. 271's a good carry. Oh, wow. Let's see here. We did see the ball speed and the club speed go up, so kudos to you. Um, we've got some good shots up there. We've got, yeah. like, so you hit, we had a few extras with the dark speed max, so we yep. probably, you know, 
There's a little more warm-up time yeah. for you after lunch. Yeah. Um, but we're certainly warmed up now. Um, I'm going to leave all five of these up here, actually. I'm just going to do it. Nothing, nothing really There's to There's nothing to remove, there. right? I mean, yeah. they're, all, they're all good. So yep. here's our, I can see the draw bias, or the, I guess the, the, the slice correction is no longer as prevalent. Correct. Um, seeing that ball stay relatively straight. You know, you start, you, you tend to start the ball a little bit right of center, yep. and then if it draws back, great. If not, it's right side of the fairway kind of thing. I'm either a push drawer or a pusher. Yeah. 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 So um, we also saw the spin come down, which yep. is not a surprise. Yep. Um, launch is about the same. You know, carry, we gained some yardage because of that spin going down and a little bit because of the speed that you were producing a little bit, a little bit more there. Mm -hmm. um, anything else to out of you about uh, these two clubs? See, there's the difference in curve there. I mean, yeah, they really did what they should have done. Um, I have tried to make a little adjustment to my path. Yeah. I was a little getting a little, little up under it. So tried to make that adjustment there, but um, this club did exactly what it should have done. It's, it's not, it's pretty neutral. It's not a draw bias. It's not a fade bias. So um, it's going to pretty much do whatever you whatever you give it. So sure. um, that's pretty representative for me. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Sure. Sure. Um, not necessarily sure this is the right uh, shaft for me, but it's uh, it's a good starting point. Yeah. 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 Um, I know you'll play more with it when we uh, get. Oh, yeah. when, the, when all these things are in the in the fitting bag, oh, yeah. sure, yeah, Absolutely. sure you will. So, yep. all right, now yeah. the Dark Speed LS model. This will be very interesting. Yes, because this is. I mean, they essentially call this a fade bias driver. Yes, it's a low launching fade bias driver. It's so very gonna different. Do, I'm going to do everything I can do to make it not be fadey. Yeah. Yes. How's that one look now? Looks awesome. Like this, I I absolutely love the. The shape of this, it looks deeper as set up. I've always been a high launch guy and liked that deeper face to promote a lower mm -hmm. launch. My golf swing is changing a little bit. Yeah. And whereas last year, well, year before, I played a five and a half degree LTDX head. Um, I've now been up to eight degrees in my Aerojet. And in here right now, I'm at nine to nine and a half. Mm -hmm. So, um, Things are a changing. Things are changing. Things are a changing. All right. All right. Well, so, um, this looks awesome to me, and I love the adjustability to it. Adding the extra weight back here, I mm -hmm. think, is just such a great idea because you can make this golf club more forgiving. Yeah, by you could kind of almost make it a, a dark speed XLS, you know, yes, like a yes. tweener between the exactly, two. Exactly, exactly. So, but from a, from a setup standpoint, oh, it just looks so good. Yeah, it is a little bit more, it seems like when I was looking at it, a little more triangular. It is a little more back. triangular, yeah. yes, for sure. Kind of to help create that deeper face yep. a little bit. Yep, so it looks good. Let's see what it does. The other thing about this driver is that it will be Little fade bias, a little less forgiving too than these yes. other two. So. Yes. A little off the toe. Was yep. it really? Yep. Okay. Little toe, little open face. This is why I haven't why I haven't played the LS versions in the past because I've always had a hard time getting them to turn over, even with the weight in the heel and, and yeah. draw face. I mean, they are designed just, to avoid the, yeah. the dreaded hook. There is so. just something about it that I have a hard, I, I yeah. just struggle with. There okay. we go. There it is. Ah, there we man. Go. I mean, this is kind of what, it's, it's the driver doing what it's supposed to do. It is. It's, it's supposed it is. to be less forgiving. It's supposed to kind of lean right. It leans right. If that doesn't turn over, I give up. I give up. <laughs> I did everything I could to make that thing turn over. All right. Well, I'm curious <laughs> to see what happens with the dispersion. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All that is perfectly in line with what we would expect, given what we know about the construction of it, each of these. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So um, look at the, uh, I, this is fun. We did lower the spin by eight RPM. Um, <laughs> your club speed was a tenth of a mile an hour off. Your ball speed was the same. Your smash factor was the same. 
with all three drivers. Um, I think really your spin would have been lower if you're, you were able to straighten it out. Yeah. Um, but the fact yeah. that it was hanging right kind of yeah. increased that spin a little Definitely. bit. Definitely. Um, you did hit by a slim margin, hit the LS the farthest. Um, and again, I think I think you would agree if you were able to get, you know, that face squared up and yeah. hit it straight, you'd have that little draw that would probably go farther than the other two drivers. Yeah. Um, but I, mean, uh, I guess I, what else do you see here? I mean, I'd be interested to see if maybe a different shaft was easier to square up. But I mean, just knowing what's kind of happened over the last, you know, three Cobra drivers for me, I've been playing the standard versions and that, you know, the dispersion is, is exactly why. I don't like seeing the ball go left and I don't really like seeing the ball go right. So, hey, I'm the same way. <laughs> I'd rather not see it. I'd, I'd rather see it go right than left, but not enough to put the LS in for myself. Yeah, because I think also um, we should, you know, point out here too, in terms of left to right, mm -hmm. this dispersion is probably the widest. Yeah. So in your and in the the X where the sort of the standard high MOI one is the yeah. for you I would say the best dispersion yeah. up there. I mean right? this so. this really did everything did exactly what it was supposed to do. More left bias, neutral bias, more right bias. Yep. I mean that's <sighs> golf clubs doing what golf clubs are supposed to do. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. Yep. It's a great thing. And I think there's a very clear difference between these two and obviously in a fitting you could if let's say you're enamored by the LS here, and maybe that's what you're probably going to do at some point is maybe play with different shafts, mess around yeah. more with the settings and the weights and stuff and see what magic formula can work. Cause there's so many options. Um, but I think this is a pretty good starting point to help people understand the differences between the three. Yeah. And initially what those performance, you know, similarities and differences are going to be. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This is pretty good, Kevin. I yeah, like no, it's been, it's, it's good. And, and I like the feel, I like the look. You know, there are three distinctly different looks for three distinctly different purposes. Um, yeah. You know, I still like the look of this one the best, but I won't be playing it. Yeah, I think uh, I think I know which one you'll be playing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway. The one where all the balls are in the fairway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we have a fire five in the fairway, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, let's wrap it up with final thoughts, huh? Cool. All right, Kevin, testing complete for the Cobra Dark Speed drivers. Um, I think both of us love the look of these things. I mean, I yeah. love how it's just so simplistic, black matte. Um, you mentioned kind of the carbon fiber appearance is sort of hidden. It's there if you look closely, but yeah. it's hidden. It's very muted, which and, I like. Yeah, and yeah. I think the performance, I mean, the drivers do exactly what they're supposed to do. So. Yeah. Um, and kind of talking about each model individually, we'll start with the Dark Speed Max here, the first one you hit. Mm -hmm. um, for this one, we saw the ball curve to the left. The dispersion was the farthest left. Um, in terms of golfers out there thinking about one of these, what type of players are best suited for the Max? So the Max is going to give us the most anti-right for a right-handed golfer correction. So mm -hmm. if you're somebody who has a hard time losing the ball out to the right, uh, this one's going to give you the most help. Right, uh, laws of physics still apply, so uh, it's not that this won't ever go to the right, but it is designed to help. So, yeah. um, you know, I've been trying to break the laws of physics for a lot of years now, and <laughs> I keep failing miserably. So, uh, but this will help uh, in terms yeah. of trying to get that ball to to not go out to the right hand right, side. Right, right. We yeah. also did see, for what it's worth, this was also the, the higher spinning yes. of them, yes. and that probably will be true for most players as yes. well. So take note of that. But that also probably means a little bit more forgiving and more correct controllable as well. So yep. um, now the Dark Speed X, which I have a feeling is your favorite of the of the three models here certainly We're friends by, already certainly by dispersion um yeah. it is the best performing for you yeah. so uh talk to me about that one yeah so this one's it's switzerland it's neutral right it's it's not drawing bias it's not fading bias it just says i will do whatever you tell me to do so <laughs> <laughs> yeah this this really does fall on the on the user uh if you're if you're playing this one it's gonna go pretty much wherever it wherever you tell it to go yeah um i love the fact that we've got adjustable weights we can throw heavier weight back here make this driver even more forgiving um i've got the weight a little further forward i want to drive that spin down i love the idea of the ls i yeah. love the low spin idea of the ls but I can't turn that thing over. So uh, it's it, this is this is the one for me. Yeah, yeah. I I, th I think clearly we saw yeah. that today, and it makes sense having 
you'd just been playing the Aerojet yeah. standard model, yeah. and now um, and into the Dark Speed X, and it, and it's not like you don't like the shape of that, but now no, with the LS, no. you know, the LS has been kind of transitioned to talking about this one. Yeah. It's certainly a more compact yeah. shape, um, some more weight forward. You're going to get also some more adjustable weight uh, port options on the on the sole as well for the player that likes to tinker, but. Um, Talk to me about that one here as well, and, and maybe uh, the type of player that will make that one work for them. Yeah, she's a beauty, uh, no doubt about it. The, the looks are, are striking. Uh, it's, you know, if you're a if you're somebody that turns the ball over too much, pretty good way to go right yeah. here, mm -hmm. right? Um, a lot of adjustability. You know, if you're if you're hooking the ball, we can throw heavy weight up in the toe. Uh, obviously I had this thing with the weight all the way in the heel, trying to do anything I could to make it turn over and it just won't, it really just won't go. Mm -hmm. I can hit it straight, but I, we, we saw nothing, anything going to the left side yeah. here. So, uh, typically higher speed players are going to play mm -hmm. something LS. Uh, we need to make sure we got a good launch condition because you know, being in low spin, if we're not getting up in the air enough. That ball is right. going to fall out of the sky and it's going to be all roll. We don't want that. We want to maximize both carry and, yep. and roll out. So, um, but there's a lot we can do amongst these three heads to, to get you exactly what you're looking for uh, out of this driver. Yeah. I mean, there's between all the adjustable options on really each driver head with the yeah. weights being able to be moved around. There's obviously the also the options with the hosel mm -hmm. um, and then the different loft stated loft options as well with some of the heads. So there's so many different ways to attack your T performance, off T performance with the dark speed drivers. So, um, I mean, fantastic stuff from Cobra here. I think you're yeah. gonna be big time winners yeah. in 2024. It, the, it really wins on looks alone. Yeah, I, mean, I really think so too. Unless you want something flashy. If you want something flashy, this is probably not for you. Right. Because this is about as muted as you're ever gonna see for a driver. Yeah. So. Which is funny, I feel like Cobra has been more of the flashy in the past. Yes, they um, have. But this is a, a change in direction in that department for sure. And I think, at least for me, I'm way more into these ones than yeah. past ones. So um, for a company yeah. known for color, right? Uh, you know, well, technically, I guess black is the is the like, color is all colors. That's combined, right. That's right. right. That's so, right. Yeah. So this is what they've come to. Yeah, yeah that's right. You're the artists out there yes. are um, thanking you for making that clarification about what black is actually <laughs> all the colors together. Um, Great stuff here from Cobra. Thank you for the for the testing and the swing, sure. Kevin. Great stuff. Schedule your fitting for a dark speed driver today. Go schedule it online or just stop into one of our store locations. We'll get you dialed in. Thank you for watching and make sure once again, go schedule that fitting.